So let's circle. Let's circle right on the Jen Psaki and let's hear what she has to say. UN General Assembly address as president. And uh, Jen, I want to get to that. Uh, it's, it's a big address from the president. But these images along the border are shocking. Mm -hmm. And the bar is high for shocking images along the border. You've called them horrific. What did the president say? How did he feel when he saw them? He also felt they were horrific and horrible. I don't know anyone who could watch that video and not have that emotion. Uh, last night, our Secretary of Homeland Security put out a statement conveying there would be an investigation, that he's going to send additional personnel. And I think it's important for people to know this is not who we are. That's not who the Biden-Harris administration is. And we're going to... Dude, uh, dude, I fucking hate liberals so much, dude. Oh, my fucking God, okay? Every goddamn liberal that follows me in my DMs was like, Actually, those aren't whips, sweaty. Those aren't lassos like the slave patrols had. That's just the reins that he's using to hit these, uh, these, these Haitian uh, asylum seekers, these refugees, these people that are seeking help from the American government foolishly. Oh, dude, fuck, man. They're reins. He's whipping them with reins, not an actual whip. Never mind, I guess. I guess then it changes the dynamic dramatically. Thank you for correcting me, sir. Bro, they literally are getting fucking food from Mexico because they can't even go and get it in America. They're getting aid from Mexico. They're going back into Mexico, getting food, and then coming back to the fucking underpass that they're staying in. And you got racist-ass fucking cowpokes over here whipping them. With their fucking reins, dude. Get the fuck out of here, you psycho. You can never, ever defend a single part of this, dude. This is just white supremacy working. Can you imagine? For all the liberals that are watching me that don't recognize it, they're like, I don't get it. Like, Joe Biden is always good. So, explain to me how you would feel if the Trump administration had these exact same images. Like, how, how fucking angry would you be? How angry would you be? If the Trump admin was whipping black migrants that are seeking shelter, that are seeking help in the aftermath of, uh, of a gigantic fucking earthquake that murked half their country right after political turmoil that we played a significant role in, by the way, and an assassination of their president. Like, can you imagine, dude? Oh my God, every fucking, every show would be like, this is Nazism. This is racism. People will be going over to the fucking border and crying. That's crazy, man. That's actually crazy when it's like... Is Mexico not letting them in? Dude, Mexico does not have the capability of helping these people. They're coming over from Mexico. A lot of the Haitian uh, migrants that are here right now, the ones that we were speaking of, originally went to Brazil. Okay? Okay. And when the opportunities dried up in Brazil in the aftermath of the Olympics, they went over to Chile. They went over to different parts of Central America. And they could not make do. There was a lot of fucking racist sentiment uh, launched against them. Then now, now they're coming into the United States. The Mexican security forces are... Also whipping them on the other side of the fucking border, by the way. Don't get me wrong. Like, you know, the Mexican army is also literally whipping them just on the other side of the border because they're complying with the Trump deal that was facilitated with the AMLO administration to uh, keep the migrants inside of Mexican borders. Like, I mean, this is like, this is a powerful image, dude. You got... You got white slave patrol people whipping fucking black people, dude. I mean, what, what more do you need to see? Like, this is just straight fucking, this is just white supremacy. This is a photo that captures white supremacy in the United States of America in 2021. It is still alive. It is still well. And it, it's popping off. Like, and to all the liberals who fancy themselves to be, uh, you know, on the right side of history, who fantasize about how uh, they would be on the right side of history. They'd be like fucking, you know, helping free slaves and shit. Like, dude, if you're, if you're not doing everything you can to fucking apply pressure to this administration to stop this immediately and help these Haitian immigrants instead of fucking deporting them. It, and it's like weird to even call it deportation. They're purging them, okay? They're literally fucking 
throwing them in planes and shipping them back off to fucking Haiti right now. Using a Trump era provision to say, oh, we're protecting the country from COVID. Here, here, don't take my word for it. Let's hear Jen Psaki talk about it. Absolutely pursue that investigation and get to the bottom of what happened here. Meanwhile, deportation flights are ongoing. And I think what's confusing for people there is... Where do you see whipping in this, though? It's the horse's reins there, proof of whipping? Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? It's not just a whipping, dude. It's literally... It, first of all, there are photos of them getting whipped by the fucking dude in the horse reins who's, like, punching them, fucking trying to pull them off, doing a bunch of insane shit in that scuffle. But you are a psychopath if you're like, whoa, I don't see the whipping. Like, I want to see what? You want to see the pelting, dude? You want to see, like, the actual fucking scars? Is that, is that the only way that you will recognize that this is fucked up? You watch people getting rounded up like fucking cattle by some yee-yee dipshit who think, who fancies himself a fucking cowboy. And you're like, well, I don't know. Secretary Mayorkas back in May said to Haitian nationals already here, we know things are so terrible in your country that you're going to get a temporary extension. We're not going to send you back. Mm -hmm. Your case is going to be ongoing. You're going to be here. Shouldn't that same idea apply now? You're right. Temporary protected status, which is something the secretary and the secretary of state also put in place. They actually extended it further because of the turmoil on the ground into uh, later in the summer. Now, anyone who is here before then may be eligible for temporary protected status. Uh it's fucked up, but there's no whipping. You can't show us any proof of it. If you can, I'll admit I'm wrong happily. I won't support lies, though. Show me someone actually being whipped or even hit at all. I've seen it anywhere. Okay. Let me ask you a question, Zutron. Let me ask you a serious question. Is whipping the only part of that that you care? Is that where you draw the line? Let's say there is no whipping, okay? You fucking pathetic white supremacist psychopath. Let's say there's not a single fucking frame of whipping that uh, the, the, the reins are being used to whip someone. Do you really think that that's the main problem I have with this situation? It's the whipping? Like, everything beyond that is actually not dehumanizing? The fact that they have to go to fucking Mexico to get food and then come back is already dehumanizing enough. The fact that they're living under a fucking underpass is already dehumanizing enough. It's fucked up, but there's no whipping. You can't show us any proof of it. I'll admit I'm wrong. No, you won't. You won't admit you're wrong because you don't give a fuck. All you care about is, like, trying to fucking win an argument over minutia. Here you go, dude. Are you happy? Are you fucking happy, dude? Is that good? Are you excited now? Was that the only fucking problem? Now they're going to be like, well, it's actually hitting him with the reins. It might have been an accident. He can't admit that he's wrong because I banned him already. Dumb fuck. I don't want that kind of fucking idiot in here. Is Harvard chose to understand the struggle of immigrants because they don't see them as human, just third class subhumans is so aggravating? Yeah. It's so strange. Like, it's such a fucking strange thing to like. It's such a strange thing to hyper focus on, dude. Like, you see these dudes rounding up migrants like they're fucking cattle and like beating them and shit okay and like even the horse like even the horse trampling alongside them is terrifying enough and your hyper focus is like are they actually whipping god damn dude it's some real fucking that's some real mayonnaise monkey shit right there I'm sorry, uh, actually, uh, uh, I don't see the whipping, so, uh, sir, that could be anything. Fucking idiot. If that's your focus, you're gone, dude. Uh, your and brain is gone. People may be eligible for that. But right now, we also have to implement our laws uh, at the border. We also want to protect people, both in that community, but also migrants. One of the challenges as we're- Bro, saying we want to protect migrants is literally the Trump administration's bullshit fucking line. 
okay? Oh, we want to protect the migrants. And that's how we protect the migrants, by sending them, by tossing them into a fucking plane and shipping them back to fucking Haiti. That's how you protect migrants. When they're literally coming into this country and going, please help us. Instead of offering them due process, instead of accelerating paperwork or even offering them the opportunity to put in fucking proper paperwork for asylum seeking, we're just like, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. We're going to lock you in a fucking plane and just ship your ass back to Haiti. That's how we help the migrants, dude. This is exactly what the Trump administration said and did. We're all facing a pandemic here is the gathering of so many people. We're still implementing Title 42, which means that we are going to send people out of the country who come in uh, as we implement that. A, a COVID safety protocol. Exactly. But d did you say that it's possible that that extension that applies to Haitians already here could <sighs> apply to those coming across the border? Well, now? Tony, it's already been extended uh, because of the turmoil on the ground. It was. Early oh, yeah, dude. Hey, what's up? Wait, 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 wait. Let's run that back. Sorry. I love that the media like actually asks like good questions every now You're and then. Possible the country who come in uh, as we implement that. A, a COVID safety protocol. Exactly. But d did you say? Yeah, COVID safety protocol, dude. Hey, here's COVID safety protocol. Literally fucking inoculate every single migrant that comes in. There you go. Inoculate and quarantine. What's the problem? Yeah, they would fucking love that. They, uh, I'm sure that, I'm sure that, like, first of all, there are millions of unused vaccines, okay? There are thousands, hundreds of thousands of unused vaccines all around the fucking country. Go ahead. Give it to the Haitian migrants, dude. I promise you they would love that. Okay? There you go. Problem solved. Quarantine, vaccinate, and quarantine. 14 days, and then after that, boom. Accelerate paperwork and uh, move them over to uh, move them over to permanent housing or at least temporary housing for the duration of the paperwork. You kidding me, dude? Nothing. There is no. This is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. Yeah, that it's possible that that extension that applies to Haitians already here could apply to those coming across the border Well, now. Tony, it's already been extended uh, because of the turmoil on the ground. It was earlier this... Yeah, they... Hey, guys, they... They extended it because, you know, there's a lot of turmoil on Summer. the ground. That's something that the Secretary of Homeland Security and Secretary of State do look into. But again, as we look to the, the, the photos, not just the ones you referenced, but, but of all of these families and people under the bridges, we wanted to also take steps to implement our laws and to protect a lot of them from the spread of COVID. As hold on. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. We are a nation of law and order. We are a nation of borders. The only difference between Jen Psaki's rhetoric and also her, uh, her, her defense is that she's not saying that these guys are dogs, okay? That's it. The only difference between her and Donald Trump is that she's not saying these guys are, are not human, they're dirty, and they're fucking, you know, coming from shit old countries. That's the only difference. And if you hyper-focus on the that if you hyper focus on that as a fucking standalone to say like well you know uh, okay well that's still different that's still important okay who gives a fuck dude ultimately if you're treating these human beings that are looking to us for help as dogs it doesn't matter if you fucking call them a dog or not from the bully pulpit you get that right so explain to me why this is going on You know? What is happening, dude? What the fuck? Why is the Biden administration fighting in court to keep a Trump-era immigration policy? If you come to the U.S. illegally, you will be returned, Mallorca said at a news conference. Your journey will not succeed. What's up? Why are we continuing Title 42? I thought we ran on how the Democrats were going to be different, dude. What's up with that? Can someone explain to me what the fuck is up with that, dude? Why are we still literally doing the Trump administration immigration policy? I thought that the guy who wrote that, Stephen Miller, was a white supremacist, dude. 
What's up? Whip or no whip? This shit is unacceptable. Unfucking acceptable. So progressive this administration is. So good. Animals, dude. These people in polite society are the real fucking animals. They mistreat migrants and human beings that are still, they're just still trying to fucking survive, okay? The real animal is the person that fucking sees someone who's in, in, in a desperate circumstance and fucking six their rabid fucking dogs on them. That's the real animal shit. Wonderful, dude. Wonderful stuff. ...also faces questions over troubling new images from the southern border. These are Border Patrol agents on horseback rounding up Haitian migrants who are seeking asylum in the U.S. Thousands of people are camped near a bridge in Del Rio, Texas, close to the Mexico border. Politicians from both parties are slamming the government response. Manuel Bajorquez is in Del Rio. Manuel, good morning. Good morning. Deportations are being sped up with one to three. Remember, you said either the U.S. will. Uh, I said either the U.S. will let migrants and climate refugees in or just kill them. Yeah, and they're going to kill them. I told you this. I've been telling you this for fucking years. There's only two ways out of this conflict. Either accelerating the cruelty that you subject those who dare come inside of our borders so that that cruelty is so bad that they don't even want to fucking take a chance, okay? They don't even want to take a chance of being, like, jailed and then uh, have to work as a slave in our deportation facilities, right? Like, the situation is going to be worse off for them inside of the U.S. borders rather than fucking, uh, rather than, than back home. Either you have to increase the cruelty to ensure that, like, it's too much of a bargain for uh, any migrant to come in, or you have to improve their material conditions over at home while simultaneously allowing as many people in as possible and focusing on integration. flights a day departing from the U.S. to Haiti, and an additional 600 federal agents have been sent to this section of the border to help. But an incident involving Border Patrol on horseback has the Department of Homeland Security investigating. It is tragic and it is heartbreaking. After seeing the camp where thousands of mostly Haitian migrants are waiting near the U.S. border, Secretary of Homeland Security... It's sad that both parties are turning rightward on this issue. Dude... Both parties have always been rightward on this issue. America is, I'm sorry, but a white supremacist fucking country. Our history is white supremacist. Our roots are white supremacist. Our fundamentals, our foundation is white supremacist. Welcome to fucking reality. There's no turn. This has always been the fucking reality. Both parties despise immigrants. They use it as a fucking talking point. They love the labor. Don't get me wrong. They love that cheap labor. Ooh. Ooh, there's a reason why businesses don't get, like, significant punishments for hiring undocumented immigrants, okay? Without undocumented immigrants, we, we have no economy, okay? They love that cheap labor. If you wanted to truly stop undocumented immigration in this country, you would just start fucking hurting the businesses to a degree that it's not just a simple fine or a slap on the wrist. You would charge them criminally for hiring uh, undocumented immigrants, but they don't. Okay, because we would never have meat production. We would have no agricultural production without undocumented migrants, without undocumented immigrants. That's just the fucking reality. And the real way to fix that problem is not by um, continuing this uh, double-tiered system where, like, the American workforce that's documented is already being exploited and oppressed, but then they're constantly threatened with a never-ending refilling labor pool that will work for much much less for way worse conditions it's to actually document everyone and allow everyone to unionize so they can fucking advocate for better workplace conditions better safety for all workers but no it's a lot easier for capital owners to pin american documented workers against the undocumented laborers over and over and over again while they take up a larger piece of the pie every fucking day the entire pie is there.
for the taking. You just can't even recognize it because you're too focused on like these people that look different than you, these people that like, you know, sound different than you that you've been told are bad and evil and wrong and dirty. Uh, they've been dehumanized are coming in here to steal your fucking job. And take away like the tiniest fucking fraction of that pie that you're already given. And by the way, if there's fucking any, uh, if there's any truth, look at the situation right now. Look at the labor shortages that people are fucking screaming about, dude. They don't want to fucking do that. They don't want to work. Nobody wants to work at those fucking dog shit jobs for dog shit fucking conditions for dog shit pay. That's the reason why fucking people are screeching and crying. That's the reason why the Chamber of Commerce, like, please, like, at gunpoint, send these fucking, uh, you know, American citizens back to work. It shouldn't be this way. Alejandro Mayorkas issued this stark warning. If you come to the United States illegally, you will be returned. And in one case, an agent on horseback can be seen grabbing the shirt of a migrant, appearing to whip him as he desperately tries to escape. No! No! But Mayorkas was also asked to respond to images like these. Border patrol agents on horseback seen trying to keep my... He's like literally trying to whip them. As they're getting away from crossing into the country as one group tried to pass an agent said this hey you use your women this is why your country in a statement a spokesperson for the department of homeland security called the footage extremely troubling and said dhs is investigating the matter uh secretary thank you so much for being with us this morning i know that you've seen this video you are investigating but is there any reason why border agents would be charging at migrants in such a way that you are seeing children ducking out of the way. Uh, good morning. Thank you very much for having me. Any mistreatment or abuse of a migrant is unacceptable, is against Border Patrol policy, training, and our department's values. Indeed, we have directed an investigation. That investigation is underway and it will be conducted swiftly and the public needs and deserves to know its results. I also have directed that the Office of Pub uh, Professional Responsibility be on site in Del Rio full time. We will not tolerate any mistreatment of an individual. So uh, abuse and mistreatment not tolerated. Is that abuse or mistreatment where you see Relax, man. Anger solves absolutely nothing in one-on-one -on -one combos. You're probably just pushing them farther right. Pushing them farther right? I don't give a fuck, dude. We live literally in a white supremacist-ass country. Are you stupid? That kind of fucking attitude against immigrants, especially in the process of uh, us, like, watching fucking footage of, like, the psychopathic Gestapo-ass Border Patrol brutalizing these people is not going to be tolerated. I don't give a fuck about sparing the feelings of dumb, racist fucking hogs. Okay? Sorry, dude. I'm not going to spare the fucking Nazi supporters' feelings. Yeah, dude. He, he was a racist, but he was going to have his mind changed, but now he's going to be more racist, dude. Uh, okay, what's he gonna do, dude? Go fucking, like, directly go and work for the Border Patrol? Is that what he's gonna do? Alright, fuck him. Children ducking out of the way, horses charging migrants, reins being used. We are very troubled by what we have seen. We are gonna let the, fa the investigation unfold very, very quickly determine the facts, and then we will take the action that is appropriate based on those facts. The facts will drive the conduct that we employ to hold anyone accountable for a violation of our policies. Okay, so I hear you saying that a horse charging near a child is not necessarily mistreatment. That's, you're, not, you're not ready to say that as this investigation oh, that proceeds. Is, oh, that is not uh, at all what I have said. Uh, one cannot weaponize a horse 
uh, to aggressively attack a child. That is unacceptable. That is not what our policies and our training require. Please understand, let me be quite clear. Um, that is not acceptable. We will not tolerate mistreatment. And we okay. will address it with full force based on the facts that we learn. Okay, what did you think when you saw this? When you saw this behavior on the, port, on the part of the agents, when you saw them yelling at migrants, which by the way, I would like to play part of what we saw, what we're witnessing on the border. Hey, you use your women? This is why your country Because you use your women for this. You go, no, that way. Like using their women in that situation, let me clarify something, because that is a, that is a perfect fucking frame of like, again, white supremacist ass attitudes that people have towards uh, the, the people seeking asylum, pe people seeking help in, in desperate and dire circumstances. That line in and of itself is wild. So he, first of all, he's saying you're using your women. What he's referencing there is the fact that a lot of the men immediately get rounded up and put on a fucking airplane back to Haiti. So because they can't find food here, like because they can't leave that area, they don't want to get arrested and deported. They have to go to Mexico to get fucking food. And women and children are able to cross the border to get food because you can't be fucking dunking on and whipping women because that's a bad look, even for the most you know, sympathetic liberals, even at that point, they're like, okay, that's kind of fucked up, right? Remember what happened with the Trump administration? So women have to, women are the ones who are going back, getting the food and bringing them, right? The reason why that's occurring is because of the fucking racist ass immigration policy to begin with, the white native immigration policy to begin with. Nobody should be uh, forcing to cross the border back to Mexico to get food to come back into the United States. Okay? So that's one. Two, seems like they're using one bad apple to slander the good name of every border patrol officer. As long as it's limited to one whip per, per migrant. Okay, very cool, man. I love it. I love whenever I get fucking riled up about a particular issue. And this one is like, uh, ob for obvious reasons, one of the issues that like, uh, is, is, you know, uh, closest to the things that I get frustrated about personally. It's just like every time Nazis see, uh, me getting fucking riled up with this. But they just think that this is a great opportunity. How do you find the ability to still have love for this country? I don't love this country. I love the people. Okay. And I don't love all the people, obviously. When you have experienced rejection by his people, I ask because this is something I've struggled with my whole life. I've been here since I was eight and see this as my home, but I can't help to hate it with the amount of oppression and lack of opportunity I have went through here. Like, how do you balance those opposing feelings? You just have to fucking believe in other, you have to, you have to believe in your fellow uh, Americans. Cause there's like a lot of awesome people. Look at this fucking community. There's Hello, Americans in here that aren't Nazis, you know what I mean? That feel the same way that you do. You like to quickly label everything white supremacy. Aren't these guys just following their jobs? Okay, let me ask you a quick question. Do you think a slave patrol Pinkerton that is whipping black people that are runaway uh, slaves that are trying to escape to freedom... Do you think that person is just following their job or do you think that person is a agent of white supremacy? I'll take your answer. I won't. Just kidding. I'm going to ban you regardless because you're a fucking idiot. Okay? There is no just doing their job. You can't do that. Like, you can't do it. There's no Nuremberg defense for that. Just following my orders, man. Secretary, what was your initial reaction when you saw these things? I was horrified by what I saw. I'm going to let the investigation run its course, but the pictures that I observed troubled me profoundly.
What's it like fulfilling the stereotype that you come in and do the garbage job of Americans are too soft handed to perform? What do you mean? Mr. Hassan, you're racist to the UK and say we're racist when we let all immigrants get jobs and homes? Yeah, okay. That defies um, all of the values that we seek to instill in our people. And I will tell you, I saw the values that we do instill in our people in exhibition when I visited under the bridge and saw them work with the American Red Cross, the Department of Health and Human Services, World Central Kitchen in addressing the needs of a vulnerable population. Like the funniest part about this is that this dude's job didn't exist. Like I'm older than this guy's uh, uh, agency, okay? Like some of the chatters in here are the same age as the Department of Homeland Security. Like, that's the wildest thing. And it's kind of funny to think about, like, ICE, Department of Homeland, uh, Department of Homeland Security. Like, these are, these are literally, like, post-9-11 inceptions. Like, these are post-9-11 inventions that now we act like are a staple of American society. There are Zoomers that are old in the fucking Department of Homeland Security. Bro, literally imagine getting asked at your job to do what these agents are doing. You instantly refuse and quit, right? If, you're, if not, you're a white supremacist. Sorry, absolutely. Without a doubt. Like, I talk about, I talk about fucking ACAB and stuff like that, about how, like, cops uphold unjustifiable laws as a part of their job. They're there to protect the interests of capital, not the interests of people, all that sort of stuff. But I still always say like, you could have ultimately joined the police force under the false assumption that like, you're gonna fucking do some good. You know what I mean? And there are a lot of people that think like, oh, cops still do good. Like there's a lot of movies out there, you know, despite the fact that they should learn that you can't, okay? But ICE, no excuses. You're just straight doing Nazi shit. And before you tell me, like, 52% of the fucking uh, CBP force is, like, Latino. Yeah, they are Nazis, too. Okay? They're racist as fuck. Fuck them. Okay? They can suck my fucking dick. I don't give a fuck, dude. Being Latino doesn't change the reality that, like, what you're doing is fucking disgusting. Okay? Dumbass liberals who come in here and they're like, <laughs> oh, but they're actually Latinos. You don't understand. It's an important, it's an important job uh, in Latino communities in the South. Like, yeah, they can suck my cock too. Filth. Of migrants under the bridge in, El in Del Rio. That reflects who we are, and any mistreatment or abuse of an individual defies the, our values and who we are and what we stand for. Uh, under that bridge in oh, Del no, Rio, where you were, you, you have what is, uh, I mean, it, it, it's a refugee camp that is under and around the bridge. How quickly can you- This motherfucker's like, the whipping is where I draw the line, okay? The whipping is not what we stand for. Uh, putting them in fucking uh, uh, planes and like shipping them back in an expedited process to fucking Haiti though after it's been devastated by an earthquake, a hurricane and fucking political turmoil that came before that and like nearly a century of like American policy that disrupted the country and ruined its infrastructure um, you know before you know doing all that that's normal that's good stuff we got to do that we got to protect our borders we're a nation of laws man but fuck man whipping that's where I stop that's where I that's where I draw the line, dude. Clear that, knowing that there are more migrants coming. So we have um, moved approximately 4,000, perhaps uh, more, 4,000 migrants from under that bridge already. We are moving more migrants very quickly to other processing centers so that we can ensure their security and safety and the security and safety of the community. 
Uh, we are repatriating individuals. We expect to see dramatic change in the next 48 to 96 hours. Okay, uh, and so deportation flights to Haiti have resumed. How many flights a day do you think, how many migrants will be deported uh, under Title 42? What do you think about halting people coming in and halting deporting anyone and create a status for immigrants who are already here, myself included? I feel like there's a lot of people with a status, TPS, DACA, Dreamers, etc. have came within the last 20 years with no real road to citizenship. Citizenship is a lengthy process, but there should be something much faster just to help as many people as possible. Why halt the people coming in then? Like, asylum, is, asylum seeking is still a human right. I, I find that additionally hilarious. If you're a fucking, uh, if you have TPS right now, or if you're a fucking Dreamer and you're like, you know, I got mine, dude. My parents fucking dropped me off on this side of the border when I was like eight. So, you know, can I just get, can I just get my status? Like, let's just stop people from coming in though. <laughs> Why not both, dude? Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>